you know it's on the flow. You know exactly how the game go. Yeah, you know it's on the flow. I rep Detroit, baby, that's for sure. Yeah, we hustle different. Molding into a champion, so I struggle different. Balling hard like the Pistons, I'm in love with winning. No break, so whoever want it, they can come and get it. I see no competition, still ain't got my feet up. They better D up, but it's too late, cause the D up. Who can keep up? They seeing kings when they see us. Detroit need us, we just a bunch of bosses teamed up. All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode of It's On The Flow. I'm here with the young bull himself, Lions running back, the one and only DeAndre Swift. What's up? Thank you, What's for, Thank you for having me. Thank How you, you doing, man? I'm good, bro. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. So we here. We on the flow. It's on the flow. It's on the flow. We live inside Little Caesars Arena, man. How you feeling? Feel good. First time in the arena, man. Yeah. Feel good. Yeah, but it's not your first time in the lights. Right. right. Yeah, but before we talk about the lights that you're doing every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Talk about, you know, growing up and what experiences was like yeah. back in the day. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. City of Philadelphia is rough, um, if you don't know. Um, so I'm one of the blessed ones to make it out. Any like camps, anything like that, I'll be trying to do is help, help young people in the city to get on that path. Like, I ain't get here by myself, you know what I mean? So I try to do anything I can to help, help the young people in the generation in the city make it out. You understand what it's like to be young. You understand what it's like to have talent mm -hmm. and to need that help at hand, to need to have that big brother. So did you have anybody growing up yeah. that was that to you? For sure, especially in the city, uh, a couple people. Um, Dave Williams played running back. Um, he was in the league for, for a long time. Um, Jalen Strong, a lot of people that, a lot, really got a lot of people that in the league that like helped play the way. You know what I mean? Will Park still in the league. You got a lot of people. Jahai Ward. What kind of kid were you back in the day, man? Were you a shy kid? Were you a class clown? Class was you? Clown. I, was kind the of the, I was kind of the class clown. I can but, tell. But so I, I had, said you smiling like <laughs> But yeah. I had good grades, so it was like <laughs> teachers was okay with it. You know yeah. what I, mean? I never always stepped my boundaries and everything like that, but mm -hmm. I always like making people laugh and stuff like that. So what about football? When did that come into play? I was uh I was six. I was six. Um when I was young playing Pop One, I played everything. I mean I played nose guard, middle linebacker, <laughs> kicker, all that type of stuff. Like they needed. So yeah. I mean, so when I got to high school, my freshman year, my first game, I was fresh enough to play varsity. Mm. Um that's when I kinda knew like I, I could really do something with it. Mm. Yeah. My mindset never changed playing football. I always wanna have fun. Know what I mean, God just blessed me with a lot of ability. Did you ever hoop? Yeah, I did. Who I stopped. Uh, I stopped that right before I got to high school. Okay, was yeah. you nice? Was you like was you had right, a jumper? Yeah. Was you out there setting picks? I'm like a facilitator. That's what I do. Got Play you. point guard. Make sure everybody get there. You know? you. Yeah. You're young Killian Hayes, point guard on our team. You <laughs> got the vision. You got the you vision. Saying, throwing, you know what I mean? Hitting a little ah. Yeah, I give you a little 12, 12, 12, 3, maybe 10, 10 rebounds. Okay. Yeah, you was like a dog that. out there. Yeah, okay. Sure. Okay. So talking about the NFL, man. What, what was the draft night like? What's the, give me give me that emotion if you can. If you can take yourself back to nah, that. How was that? It made emotional crazy. I told myself I wasn't gonna cry, but as soon as I got the call, I'm like, <laughs> I was, start crying. It was a blessing, a blessing, yeah. a moment I never forget. Talk about all encompassing. How was your first it was, season? It was different. Like it's like this. You get a pin drop mm. in the stadium. You playing a game that count for your record. So I mean, you gotta think about why you playing the game. Like I said, have fun. And at the end of the day, it's football. You doing what you love and. I mean, I'm gonna make it happen. You don't get to the level that you at just operating off your natural gifts. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta put some work in. Sure. So I guess if you could talk a little bit about that, about the hard work and yeah. dedication. It and take that. a lot, it take a lot of that. It take hard work, dedication, sacrifice, mentality. Like so my mentality never changed. And that's from where I come from. Mm. Like you see so much. And mm -hmm. so I just wanna sell myself to the side and kind of be different. I knew what I wanted to do. I didn't wanna be outside every day. I knew what I was trying to get to where I'm at right now and I wanna keep pursuing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So just just knowing what you wanna where you wanna get at in life and uh, just being smart, having the right people around you, like I said, having that mentality and uh, putting the work in, especially when nobody looking like somebody else is working when you're not. So just making sure you keep that grind always. So what are some things that you're you're naturally interested in? I like like I like clothes. Uh mm -hmm. I'm, okay, okay. I like clothes. Yeah, See I like what's going on. I mean, tell the people, I don't know if people understand what's going on in the neck. We might have to do a close up for that. Oh, but yeah. If you could just describe the swift chain and kind of the thought process. So this, that was, went the, into this that. was the first piece I got when I uh when I left college and I went to the league. I wanna do something unique, somebody really nobody had. So I put myself as the I in my name, Swift S W I F T. And let me put a football player as the I. And then he, he made it come to life. That's crazy. So what are some things that you like about Detroit already? I didn't really do too much last year, but go to practice and go back to the crib because everything up is closed. So yeah. this would be the year I really kind of get out and, 
you know what I'm saying, try to see what it is. Mm -hmm. I feel like Detroit is similar to Philadelphia in a sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, the city is on the up and coming. Like I said, I'm trying to look, get out in Detroit and do more things with the community and everything this year since everything's opening back up. But I feel like it's very similar where I come from. Mm -hmm. How you feel about the Detroit Pistons though? This being your, your new home. Yeah, my new home. So I'm supporting. I'm a Detroit yeah. Pistons fan now. Mm -hmm. I just want to come. I want to come to a game. We're here. And I know you said that basketball wasn't, <laughs> you know, your favorite sport, but uh -huh. it is a sport you can get down on. So yeah. we got a court, man. I say we put some shots at it. Come on, let's, let's get it. Woo! I think I can still hear the nets. I think I can still hit. <laughs> He's on fire, right? He like, yeah, I played a little bit, you know what I mean? I was, I was all right. We might have to have a little celebrity basketball game. We might have to come through. Come on. One of the things that the Pistons are doing this year is this commitment to speaking directly to the true culture and the right. essence of the city of Detroit. Right. And one of the campaigns is DUP, which essentially is Detroit up. What are some of the ways that you think Detroit is going up. I feel like the city's on up and coming. I feel like it starts with the sports. Like you said, the music, you got the people that's from here that's doing good in the industry music wise. Mm -hmm. I feel like just doing stuff that you're already doing, getting people involved, having stuff like this, letting people see what they talking about, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? One more, you know what I'm saying? One step back, go crazy. I thought Ooh, I had boy, it was, it was, <laughs> This regulation, this on the that's court. Okay. It's a lot different. This ain't David Buster's. Right, I'm this press Detroit up, basketball. Press up. <laughs> Thank y'all for having me. I'm happy to be in the city of Detroit, looking to do more in the community. I'm seeing you soon. Swift! Much success. Appreciate Stay it, healthy. Let's hit these goals. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. It's on the floor. It's on the floor.